some of what he and his running mate are saying. Well, it's just plain weird. <laughs> These guys are just weird. That's where they are. Uh, as weird and creepy uh, as J.D. Vance. Super weird idea from J.D. Vance. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's quite weird. They're just plain weird. Just plain weird. Just plain weird. That stuff is weird. They come across weird, and then they start being weird. Yeah, they're weird. Being a really weird. He's such a weirdo. Donald Trump and his weirdo running mate are weird. Deeply and profoundly weird. They are weird. These Republicans just being weird. It's just weird. It's really weird. Republican weirdness goes even deeper. He said a lot of things that are weird. A weird style that he brings. Weird policies. We'll start with, with the weird thing, because it is a thing. Just plain weird. What was weird was his talking about Diet Mountain Dew. Who, who drinks Diet Mountain Dew? Who ever seen the guy laugh? That seems very weird to me that a, that an adult can go through six and a half years of being in the public eye. If he has laughed, it's at someone, not with someone. That That is weird behavior. Weird and cultish. These are weird people on the other side. He kind of doubled down on his weird ideas. I think weird is probably generous. Simply weird. These guys are just plain weird. Vance as weird? You know, as the campaign said, weird. It really is just plain weird. J.D. Vance, plain weird. No, I mean, I don't know how else you could read it. Weird. It is kind of weird. We're not afraid of weird people. The other side, they're just weird why are you being so weird vance has done something more extreme more weird no matter what kind of weird stuff they keep saying trump and vance are just weird in addition <laughs> to being dangerous to democracy that's the weird part that's the most engaging whom he addressed as my beautiful christians which was super weird weird tech bro jd vance he's a weird guy jd vance uneasy and sort of weird frankly for lack of a better word that he's weird thank you for bringing back the joy she does it all with a sense of joy compassionate careful joyous leader and yesterday what you saw is joy and it was the power of joy you know what i love more than anything the joy. You can't underestimate the power of joy in this campaign. Don't underestimate the joy factor of this. They're going to bring the joy. People were also just feeling relieved and, and telling me about how happy they were to see some joy back in the party. And we saw last night was this joy, this positivity. You have this happy, joyful, positive ticket. The most remarkable demonstration of support, enthusiasm, joy. This idea of joy. Joy. Being joyful is part of the American identity. There is joy mm -hmm. in the future. There is joy in having your boss be a black woman. There is joy in what is coming. What we're hearing from this vice president, future president, is a message of freedom and joy. I just love that we have this new joy. You can see it just so filled with the, the joy of the work. The fact mm -hmm. that we saw that exuberance last night, that joy. One is hope and joy, and the other is fear and anger. Oh, you could really see joy and exuberance versus grievance and retribution. People are tired of fear and anger. And so they're going to give to them the hope and the joy.